Okay, so a lot of you have had a problem with getting supplies, so you're waiting for your inks. And then I thought, why don't I do something really crazy and go into my pantry and think outside the box. What could we use instead of inks and instead of these fancy posh stuff? And uh, what could we use to actually make a mark and make it on the, a bit bleary, make it on the um, paper to create uh, mark making, paint an image. A lot of people had fun with the coffee. Uh, one of my artists, Kim, she was saying that she actually did this in India and a sacred cow came and ate the paper, trying to get the milk and the paper off uh, of the paper. So um, she saved it and ultimately collaged it and used it as a, and sold it. So this is why we have to always think outside the box. So what I thought is uh, we can use things like soy sauce and what about I found this in the cupboard it had mold on the top so I'm not gonna eat it but I will paint with it had a try last night I'm now getting the Vegemite and for those of you overseas something else will do uh, I like boxes is it boxel boxel anyway it's black. I'm going to have a go. At the moment, I'm actually, I've got a little tray and I'm making, can you see, you can't really see that. But anyway. Little tray and I put hot water and I'm going to make um, like a wash, I don't know. And so that's the Vegemite. And then cochineal. I had a go with that last night. Perfect. It's like ink, red ink, pink ink. It's fantastic. And then Dave, and then I oh, found, this is all the shit that's in my cupboard, which I never use. Um, pillar box red, that'll be great. And then, Dave said I'm not allowed to use it because we might need it in an emergency, but it's betadine and that looks really nice. That comes out as um, a black. So that might be just as fabulous as the um, Vegemite. I don't know. So I also decided that what I'll do is I will go to the liquor cabinet and see what else is there. So, genius, David, and I, but then I started drinking it. Black licorice Zambuca. Jeez, that tastes fantastic. Um, I'm going to give that a go, but I don't know. It's a really beautiful blue and black. And the other one, God, maybe I drank it all. I can't even find it, but Aperol, I don't think that's going to have much in it. But the other one, which is now missing, I must have drunk a bloody lot. It's a bright blue. Oh, here it is. Look at that. I reckon that might do something. So if you have any ideas of what we can do, uh, send them through. Um, I'm going to be in the liquor cabinet, um, squiffing and squaffing and also playing with the um, materials from the pantry. So I'll do a demonstration. We'll have a bit of fun and you send me through what you've done. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to use some PVA glue. Bunnings, cheap crap. Because, and I've got a piece of cardboard, which I'm not gonna waste all the food products on this because I think the cockroaches really might enjoy it. So I'm just going to squish some PVA glue out to give a coating over the cardboard because otherwise the materials, as in cochineal, soy sauce, and um, whatever else we're gonna use, I'm thinking I'm gonna do tea as well, but everyone does tea, but I'll, what the hell. And so what I'm doing is I'm gonna do a couple of coats of PVA glue, and that means that the materials we use will actually sit on the surface. So I'll give it a good coat. It doesn't take long for it to dry and we'll have a bit of fun. So this is while you're waiting for the materials or you just want to have a bit of fun out of the pantry or the kids, you don't want to waste the good stuff on the children because they don't appreciate it. And uh, we can have a look at the different effects we can get. Then, when you've done that, we'll do something that's real, like charcoal or um, and the different materials we're gonna use. But meanwhile, I thought, why don't we raid the pantry, raid the liquor cabinet, and we'll have a bit of fun. Okay, so I'm going to wait for that to dry and wait for it to dry and uh, yeah, then we'll play. Okay, well this could be a total cock up. 
don't know what it's going to be like actually. So I've got here little containers. Okay, first of all, tea. I've done the tea bags because everyone knows that works. So I'm just going to do that. That's very boring, but we're going to do it anyway. I've got the tea. I've got the Vegemite. I've got the Vegemite in a little tiny lovely dish and I put hot water and I've made it into a little bit of a paste. I keep going to taste it, but I don't want to taste because I know what it tastes like. It's bloody Vegemite. But anyway, that's one of the stupid. I've got my cochineal, which I talked about, and the soy sauce. So I'm going to put the soy sauce in this little container. So these are quite dark because with the tea and I've got soy sauce. And I've got, oh, there's the tea over there. Tea, the soy sauce. I've prepared the um, paper, can, uh, crappy old cardboard. Bits of crap everywhere. And now, all right, so what do we draw? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm, I used to always have trouble thinking about what I'd draw. All right, but now I'm surrounded by nature and I'm into this whole landscaping thing. Uh, so I don't have a problem. So, so what I'm going to do, first of all, we might, I'm going to draw this. Can you see that? It's lovely. I've been foraging along the Patonga Creek. And basically you can draw anything. But I'm going for this because it's quite simple. And we don't want to kill ourselves because the cockroaches are basically going to eat this at the end of the day. So, I don't know why I've got this for so I just looked up and the whole bloody screen was empty and I don't know where you're up to. So anyway, so I've done the soy sauce. Um, I'm really loving this effect here. And so if you look, it's going a lovely... Um, this is the same effect as you get with um, different inks and things as they go on top and you get the layering. So okay, now I'm going to give the uh, Vegemite a go. Should have looked up earlier. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Uh, Maybe I'll create, uh, let me see, I have no idea. I'm just going to put it over, get the effect. So these lovely things here, I'm going to make them, because we're using a spoon, because we're using a pantry. And so, now that's Vegemite. Looks fabulous. Look at that. Okay, and then back here, there's a funny little thing. I'll put a little, I've got a bit of un, unmelted. I'm going to put that on with my finger. Loving it. Might even give it a lick. Okay, look there. Look at that. Painting with my fingers. Now, where it gets a bit dark here, I've just got the veggie. I might just bring that in there. I have no idea what's going to happen. Just to prove that it is actually Vegemite, I'm licking my fingers. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so what haven't we tried? What I might do is, because I think that's bloody fantastic, I don't want to wreck it. I'm going to leave that and I'm going to get some other paper and I'm going to fiddle with the tea. Okay. Before I do that, I'm going to have a go at the booze. Now I had a taste of this last night. It is bloody delicious. I don't know what it is, but look at that colour. Is that fabulous? Okay, now this will probably pour, pour all over me. But I'm just going to see what it does. Oh, look at that. It'll be interesting to see and see where it's going, see where it's going here. That's where I didn't put any um, PVA glue and it's just absorbing in and disappearing. But with the PVA glue and a bit of rubbish on my fingers, that blue, and I'm gonna give a little flick, cause I love a little flick. Look at that. It's looking so delicious. And that's where the PVA glue wasn't. And see how it's sitting on the surface. So that is bold, whatever the hell that is. And I'm get from Amsterdam. I'm gonna drink that. That is actually it's a bit like cough medicine. Okay, but the one that was really delicious last night. 
Galliano. Okay, let's have a go. Great colour, purple. Who's not? It's not to love about the Galliano. Can you see that? I'm just going to sip it first. See if it's okay. Oh, that is so delicious. Okay, I'm going to try this and see. Just on top of the purple, on oh, the pink. Oh, gorgeous. Now, this is so funny. <laughs> now it's mixing, mixing with the, oh, it's separating with the other alcohol. Apparently, oh, you should, maybe you shouldn't mix them. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of dribble on here, and it's turning that into a lovely purple. That's gorgeous. Okay, and I'll sip that. I might just put a little bit more here. Oh, I don't want to waste it, so no, I got it. I'm going to drink it. That is so yum. Okay, so can you see the picture? I'll move the prop. Here we are. I'll move the other shit away. Can we see it properly? I think that's pretty fantastic, actually. Wow. Okay. So what we can, mind you, from here, there it looks pretty ordinary. But from here, and I'll put a photo on, this is where we made a mess. Get rid of that. But really, people sell that for millions of dollars. And there's a nice little texture. You can come in afterwards with, we could find something white. I don't know. Oh, but white chalk or white. white oil pastel or something like that and come in and do some little mark making and stuff but see how I got the spoon and by moving the spoon I could create shape without if you've got a paintbrush you get tight I know I do but let's just be a little bit creative and put another shape in there another shape in there and that's just putting the digging and digging in a little bit deep so it sits and I'm putting shapes in here now. This is where you get artistic license. There is such thing. Oh, look. And even the most subtle of line can come out. That looks beautiful. Now, this is actually absolutely no different if you're doing ink. So if you've ordered ink online and you want colour, you can get beautiful bright pinks and things like that. So... there that's artistic license because I'm not looking at anything so I'm just going to add a little bit more oh, it's lovely okay I like these shapes but how can I make this a little bit more interesting it's a bit of a blob dig in see what happens love that blob there that's with my fingers and Vegemite there you go. So you're stuck in stuck in the house. You've got only your pantry, but you can get your PVA glue out of your cupboard. You can get your soy sauce, Vegemite, cochineal, alcohol, and we're yet to do tea bags, but we did coffee the other day, and create an absolute bloody marvellous... Oh, I wouldn't mind this, this shape there. Not this bit shape there. This is because I'm a famous artist. I can make this look fabulous. But you, just a matter of playing, leaving spaces, don't be shy. This is a nice big sheet of cardboard, so you could do this too. Let's see what you come up with.